Hey, what's up guys? Giovanni Clean here on YouTube. We're getting ready to start the Aravipa Strong 50K virtual race today. So what I've got set up is uh, my garage here with a little aid station in the back, a little chair. And uh, I'm gonna try to do this backyard ultra style just to kind of see what it feels like. I don't need antifreeze in my aid station. But we got uh, Spring Energy Canterbury, Spring Energy Long Haul, Tailwind, which is in this bottle, water in this bottle, and uh, some water here, sunscreen, baby wipes, and I've got Coca-Cola and some snacks that are inside in the fridge because I want them to stay cool. So I'll give you guys updates along the way. I'm going to be stopping uh, every hour after a 4.16 roughly mile loop. And it's going to take me uh, 8 hours to go over the 50k mark. So it's uh, 8 a.m. here and I'm going to be going till uh, 4 p.m. here. So updates throughout the day and wish me luck. back from loop one actually uh, it's 8 55 I've been back in the house now for a few minutes just grabbing some food and uh, grabbing the rest of the stuff I wasn't very prepared this morning so my aid station was only halfway complete but first lap I went downtown Castle Rock and then uh, up and around back to my house this was about 4.2 something miles and about four minutes now to go until the next one so i'm gonna take the gopro along on this next one and uh and chat with you guys a little bit while i do this next loop all right all right guys so i'm headed out on a different loop than i was on before uh, now i'm gonna go up this big hill on red hawk drive and uh i'm gonna do two two mile loops around kind of my neighborhood so this was the original plan, was to only do these two mile loops all day, but I don't know, that's boring. So we're gonna change it up. While we're in the good light, wanted to give you guys a stash update. So this is now right here. It's about a month since the stay at home, well, the work from home from my company. Uh, so I just am rolling. And, uh, you know, it's coming in pretty good, I think. I uh, had a mustache competition with my little brother over the holidays, and I won. Um, shout out to Gabe. But this is coming in even better than that. So I'm excited for what's to come on the mustache front. Look out, Jared Ward. Look out, Eric Sensman. Look out, Dominic Grossman. I'm coming for you. I wish I had smell a vision on the GoPro. Somebody's smoking like a big slab of meat. I can smell it coming from their backyard. Like a, like a Traeger, you know? Mm. All right, folks, headed out for loop four. So almost halfway, once I get done with this, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm going on the downtown loop. Um, gonna do that one again. So, 
come along for the ride. All right, folks, looking at halfway done here. Just got back, it's 11.44. So I think I'm gonna eat some lunch and see if we can do this back half. Two hours later. All right, folks, headed back out on loop number seven. So this is the one that should get me to 29 and change. So almost to that 50K. I'm gonna have to go back out on an eighth loop afterwards, but uh, you know, I'm getting sore, I'm getting tired legs, but I'll finish it. So taking you along again, going downtown on this one, should be fun. Check out this bad boy right here. This was my first car, Toyota. T100. Mine was named Whoopi, like the dog from Andy Milanakis, that, that white dog in the show. So, fun fact of the day for you. Halfway through the final lap, I'm really pushing the time limit here. I'm gonna wind up having to run harder than I want to, to finish within the hour. But I'm going up hill, walking a lot. Legs hurt, but uh, I'm gonna finish this and uh, that's what I set out to do. All right, finishing it up. Hey guys, so after I was done with that, I didn't think to come back to the camera and give you guys a rundown of, of the whole thing. So I decided to just go through it here on, on Strava with you. So here's the activity for the Strava. Let's let the map show up here. All right, so it's the Air Viper Strong Virtual 50K. So I signed up for this. That's Jamil's uh, virtual race just to support him. Um, he's kind of one of the main reasons I even thought to run an ultra. So um, I decided to do his virtual race and I decided to do it in my own little twist with the Backyard Ultra 4.2 mile loops. And uh, so that left me with 33.84 miles about. Um, my loops weren't all exactly the same length. And uh, so it's kind of a weird number. Eight hours elapsed because I went, had to do eight loops to uh, get to the 50K distance. And pace reflects that. Moving time down here, 6.02.28 for the 33 miles. And I think I hit 50K somewhere at uh, five, five and a half hour moving time, something like that. So let's just go down here. You can see some of the loops that I did going from kind of my place, downtown Castle Rock was one of the loops. One of the second loops was that two mile short um, jaunt around my neighborhood. 
And another one that I did was a four mile loop to the north of Castle Rock. So those are pretty easy loops for the most part. I mean, it's all roads, but as you can see on the elevation profile, a couple hills on each of the loops, you know, somewhere between five and 8% uh, average grade over those hills. So nothing crazy, but definitely not like the flattest course I could have picked to do my first ultra. Um, so this is my first ultra finish last summer. I tried to do the Ridgeline 50K at the Castle Rock Trail Festival and I had some hip issues so I dropped out at mile 25-ish and I was pretty bummed. I trained all summer for that um, so I was glad to you know, do this and kind of do it within the comfort of my, my own neighborhood, my garage with the aid station all set up and you know this, this backyard format I thought it was a little bit difficult mentally just getting yourself up to go on the last couple of loops but i think physically on my body it was way easier than if i would have ran the whole thing all at once because in between loops i i had a chance to foam roll i had a chance to sit on the uh, lacrosse ball and lay on my on my side and really get into the tfl on my hip that's been bugging me a little bit so physically i think it was easier to do it this way for sure um, plus like overall the average pace is way slower so what's next for me um, North Fork 50k is next for me if it goes on that's scheduled for June 6th up in uh, Buffalo Creek Colorado and that's a, a mountain ultra not too much elevation gain for those of you who are Strava nerds, definitely check out this Elevate for Strava extension. It's pretty cool. It gives you this breakdown of your Strava stats here. So it gives you some additional things that Strava doesn't give you. Heart rate, stress core, um, 75th percentile or quartile pace, best 20 minute heart rate, um, average time, climb, or time climbing and average climbing pace. Uh, it's pretty cool and then they can break it down for you heart rate zones pace zones so it's a lot of the stuff that you get as a strava premium user uh, for free and then it also gives you uh, in their main extension it gives you something like this a fitness trend that's based on your heart rate kind of uh, strava just came out with a similar feature to this to gauge fitness um, so I really like that tool if you're interested definitely check it out one more thing in the time of the coronavirus aka the quarantine I picked up some some uh, buffs some coverings from my favorite podcast 10 junk miles this one's pretty dope it's got dusty Olson on it and some beers and this one run TJM on it. So shout out to Tenja Miles and Scott Coomer and the rest of the gang for uh, making these and sending them my way. Got to have some face protection while I'm out there on my run. So got some new gear. So overall, I'm super happy with my first ultra finish in this uh, virtual race doing this thing from my house. Um, looking forward to North Fork 50k if it happens and if not then I'll probably do something else by myself maybe go run that course by myself or um, with some of the other Castle Rock Run Club people just kind of depends on where this whole coronavirus thing goes and uh, what we're allowed to do by then so uh, thanks for tuning in guys really appreciate your uh, time watching my videos and we'll see you on the next one bye